Uh, well, our uh, next topic is very much connected to incentive uh, possibilities, incentive opportunities, ideas in the Baltic states. And uh, for that topic, I would like to invite, <laughs> well, uh, one of the best experts in uh, uh, incentive experts in the Baltic uh, region, uh, Olavi Andla. Uh, who is a creative manager and uh, uh, owner of EMC Blue Drum uh, company, which uh, in a period of 10 years organized approximately 1,500 events in uh, Finland, uh, Latvia and Estonia. So, all of you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm so glad to see so many people here. My I I'm sorry, I'm lo lost voice a little bit, but uh, that's why we are coming here for, to talk a lot and lose the voice. So hopefully you can hear me. So I'm talking about incentive ideas and opportunities. I'm sharing my view about what we have to sell, uh, what makes us different. And uh, let me give you a short introduction about myself, our company. Uh, Blue Drum has been established uh, more than 10 years ago. Uh, together with Regina, sitting over there, and me. Uh, we are specialized in events, EMC, event management company in Tallinn. We are Estonians. We have six, five, six employees full-time. Uh, of course, we hire a lot of people project-based. So quantity is not important, quality means more than quant quantity, but approximately 1,600 events we've been doing during the last 10 years. And our main markets are Scandinavia, Finland, Western Europe, and Russia so far. And these are the main languages we are making our events. So uh, I would say the best years, as we realized, were uh, 2008, 2009. And now there is recession for certain reason. We hope that new growth is coming. And uh, I would like to play with you a little bit. If you feel that you are going to sleep, then I have magic candies. Toss, toss. So I'm going to show you a lot of photos. You, you love photos, yeah? I wanna be, I wanna see how attentive you are. So it's a tension game. And came is about how many times you can see my portrait photo in this presentation in different costumes. So, these are first three. One, two, and three. And winners get magic candies. They make you alive and kicking. So, small game. Don't fall asleep. Okay, so let's go and analyze what Baltic states can offer to incentive groups it's pretty much uh, when we are visiting IBTM and uh, different kind of fairs, St. Baltic States offer history, nature, culture, including cuisine, and modern life. What other countries can offer? Modern life, history, nature, culture, cuisine. Hey, wait a minute. Pretty much the same, yeah? All countries offer pretty much the same thing. 
You know, our cuisine is best and our history is fascinating, our nature is beautiful, but how to be different? So we have a slogan in the company, be different or you die. You must be different. So we, Baltic states, must be different as well. So let me show you my view, what might be our Baltic states selling point, unique selling point. Of course, we can debate about this. But based on this 10 years experience, when we have done so many events, we have handled so many groups in different languages, we have realized that Baltic States has a big potential. And this is our marketing mix. So we divide history in more specific. Yes, Soviet theme. It is fascinating, interesting for foreigners. Later on, we show you how many Soviet tours we have made. So uh, foreigners, I mean, Estonia and Latvia are probably the only countries in the world who can make absurd and funny Soviet programs. We have halls of facilities, we have background, we know who were Soviets. And foreigners are so interested to know about this. And it's a safe place to learn and come and see those funny Soviets. So we are making a lot of treasure hunts in prison. In Tallinn, there is a nice, so-called nice prison, Patare, close to Old Town. In Latvia, there is amazing uh, prison. So these venues are perfect to make treasure hunts, interrogation, James Bond e escapes, KGB dinners, parties, Soviet transfers. Nobody can, can do it. Only we, Baltic states, I think. Finns don't know how to do it. Russia never do, does it, <laughs> of course. So we know. And you know, all pro problems are opportunities. We must utilize this political situation. People are looking for something, let's say, provocative. And this Soviet tour, Soviet theme, is very interesting. Then another part of the history we see Baltic states can offer medieval theme, pre-Christian, and Riga has, of course, Art Nouveau, excellent, Jugend style. So we can be more specific on this historical periods. And let's say, hello, Lithuania has excellent history, excellent just, and especially pre-Christian time, dukes, kings, your empire. And uh, different kind of theatrical tours in old towns, programs, in manors, castles, Tina entertainment can be linked to pre-Christian or medieval theme successfully. Of course, local life. Uh, we've been doing so many times edutainment presentations where uh, you educate people and entertain at the same time, and they are learning more about culture and history during uh, dinner or uh, during pre- and post-conference tours, different kind of culture programs, and just meeting locals. Sometimes we have a very simple request, we want to meet locals. Okay, so let's, let's go to somebody's house and meet locals. <laughs> they are interested about this. And uh, that's, you know, we are locals, and sometimes they meet us, sometimes. Activities in the nature. So uh, we have different kind of amazing races, off-roads, games, survival camps in nature. So we are not just hiking, 
we are uh, playing in the nature. And it makes things more interesting. Of course, other countries will do it as well. I'm not saying that only Baltic states will do it. But uh, we've been doing events in France, in Germany. Uh, we realize that things are pretty complicated over there. So they have a lot of bureaucracy, uh, a lot of people, traffic jams. Uh, so they are thinking in the box, I'm sorry, sometimes. So, uh, and it's very difficult to organize some kind of unique event. But in Baltic states, it's more easy. At least in Estonia, we have realized that you can negotiate with museums easily. You can cooperate with museums and make fun programs in front of uh, old medieval art. So, and they are very flexible. And I think that our challenge is to be flexible. And if you mix all these things, Soviet, uh, pre-Christian medieval theme, local life activities and nature with modern facilities, we have a lot of modern facilities in Vilnius, Riga, Tallinn, so then you get a pretty competitive marketing mix. So that's what we are selling. We, during 10 years, and it works. Our main problems are connections, of course, weather, we are not selling weather in Estonia. You have the same weather in Lithuania. So all Europeans want to go to the south. Why the hell they should come to the east? So there is no weather, no connections, so, country image, so-so. <laughs> yes, we are not sexy destination. We don't have Eiffel Tower. We don't have Stonehenge. No, we don't. So, why the hell they should come here? Entertainment. We must entertain people. We have all the facilities. So they're coming here to be entertained. And that's our tagline, just we are entertaining people. They are experiencing local flavor. And what are our opportunities? Customize, of course. What else? Uh, we make tailor-made programs according to nations. We need to know what is their culture, language, of course. What are their purposes? Who are they? Woman, female, how active they are. What they are looking for. So we, as an EMC, has a, have a lot of questions before making proposal. The EMCs and a lot of travel agencies, they simply don't know or they don't ask such kind of questions. But we cannot make competitive programs if we don't know the group. Usually, the inquiry is very simple. 20 packs in July, make proposal. Right away, make proposal. Come on, we cannot make proposal. So we are customizing. We need to learn more about this hospitality of course, our opportunities. We must be nicer than other countries, more emotional. Hey, be crazy. Better price quality ratio, of course, what else? And uh, be passionate, be different, be creative, be crazy. What else we can sell? We have nothing else to sell our venues, our history, our nature, other countries have it also. How to be different? Be crazy. Make them laugh. Uh, be different, more emotional. I know it's not, it's not easy to make them laugh. And Estonians are not very emotional, so 
Of course, when Italians are coming to Estonia, they say, hey, bella donna, and all Estonians are, yes, hello. <laughs> so how can be crazy? <laughs> hello, Italians, how are you? So Latvians, Lithuanians, you are a little bit more south. <laughs> you should be more crazy. I mean, we are living up to the north. So, Karachi Estonskie Parni. But just make jokes. And uh, of course, humor is very culture bound topic. It's difficult to make jokes if you don't know the cultural background. But we have realized in Blue Drum that uh, people have more or less the same jokes, at least in Europe. More or less. So, and when they are coming to Estonia, they love our jokes. We haven't had any problems, except few Asians who came to airport and we were greeting them, they were Chinese, we were greeting them in Soviet militia costume and they got terrified. They thought that they came to Soviet Union and we wanted to put the handcuffs right, 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 right on their hand. They got terrified. Then I took off my hat. I said, don't worry. It's an entertainment program. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, but mostly Europeans love our jokes. We haven't had any problems. And think out of the box. How to do it? Uh, it's, everybody's saying it. But... Uh, during 10 years, we have seen so many uh, conservative clients and service providers. They are really conservative. They are afraid to do something different. They are just don't know how to do it. Or they don't have self-confidence. If we are coming up with some kind of crazy idea, then they are saying, Oh, maybe we don't do it. Maybe client or somebody get insulted or, you know. So bottom line is, if you don't have self-confidence, then don't do it. But if you have, then do it. Always do it. Clients appreciate that. Be brave. But of course, the jokes and humor must be witty, you know. You can't make slapstick humor, stupid jokes. The jokes must be intelligence, then they appreciate that. And if you connect it with history and culture, so say learn something about you, then it makes sense. So, I agree with this. Are you crazy enough? <laughs> How many foreigners we have in the hall? Foreigners, please raise a hand. Only five, six, six, and rest are living in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Okay, are you implementing events every day? No. <laughs> okay. Special tip. Now you are crazy. You uh, mix everything with humor. What we've been doing in Blue Drum. We have developed a new term in English. It's istotainment. It's similar to edutainment and infotainment, but we call it histotainment. So we entertain people, we involve them, and say learn more about the history. Soviet, pre-Christian, medieval, whatever, 20s, 30s, it works. So, you can use this term. Do it. Edutainment. Pretty much the same. Education plus entertainment. And, of course, what in inspires us in our company, we don't talk, we don't show so much. We involve people in action. We are not just talking like traditional guides, look to the left, look to the right. This house was built 12, 
1235. Nobody cares. So they want our action. So they want to be involved in activities. So somebody is playing the attention game? No? I have a lot of pictures like this. So what histotainment means? We make venues living. So if you look at the, this tower, I'm sorry, did I break it? If you look at the tower without those tents and those uh, nights, it's, you know, nothing special. There are a lot of towers, there are a lot of uh, medieval dwellings, uh, houses in Europe, everywhere. But you just make it more living. You're doing reenactment. So this is one of the most popular streets in Tallinn. Beautiful. But it's more beautiful if you rob people over there. And here you see rubber. The group came through the passage, and suddenly rubber jumped in the front of the crowd. Money or jewelry? Of course, everybody understood it's a joke. And believe us, almost everybody gave us money, cell phones, jewelry. We involved them in activities. And at the same time, another merchant or medieval fighter passed by and there was a funny dialogue with a rubber and they started to do sport fighting. Basically, he protected our guests against the rubber. It's a comical scene and they are professional sport fighters. So it was great to see how they were fighting. It took only five minutes and you can imagine people were so excited after that. They got emotions. Wow, yes, great. And when we are doing uh, tours in Tallinn, we've been doing tours in Riga as well, so we always make some kind of entertainment breaks, actors. Of course, it's nothing new. I mean, I'm sure actors are everywhere. But I see that the Baltic cities, Vilnius, Riga, Tallinn, have special nooks and crannies, special treats where you can do it. You can't do it in modern cities, in London. No, it doesn't work. Paris, no. So this is our opportunity to make such kind of funny things. When Russians are coming to Tallinn, they call Tallinn fairy tale. They have their own symbols. Uh, chimney sweeper, trubachist. So they want to always see chimney sweeper. Also in Riga, it's the same. And also, uh, a lot of films have been made in Old Town during Soviet time. So Russians have nostalgic feeling in Tallinn because they recognize the streets where those films have been made during 70s and 80s. And we make reenactment. We take these three musketeers to Tallinn streets, and we are singing, para, 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 and so on. So it's very nostalgic. They like it. And this is our opportunity. We can do it everywhere in Baltic states. We have facilities. Question is, do we have such kind of actors who are speaking in different language? And that is a problem. We have realized in Tallinn that uh, actors don't speak languages. They speak their own language. But we don't need somebody speaking Estonian. We need somebody speaking in foreign languages. Let's make guides to entertain. So, Guides having costumes, and this is an American cruise line, and they are, they pay more attention on history if guide is, you know, entertaining. We mix modern and old, 
Baltic states are perfect for that, just perfect. You add some little jokes, like uh, knights on segways, white horse and black horse, or you mix uh, laptops and uh, medieval costumes. It's very common in Tallinn. So, so we are not just medieval, we are modern medieval. Humor helps to get acquainted. If you visit our stands and you see the same roll-up, Estonia, boring country, come see how boring we are. It works. People are coming. <laughs> so they want to be bored. Yeah? And um, Soviet, of course. Uh, yesterday, I met the uh, hosted pyre. So he came to our stand, and he told me, I got you. You are here. I didn't, I didn't recognize him. So, so I was asking, so sorry, but I don't know you. Uh, you don't know me, but I know you. You put handcuffs on me five years ago in Soviet prison. <laughs> he remembers five years ago. He remembers his emotion. So it was something strange, awful, but he liked it, and he remembers. A little bit shocking is a little bit, you know, it's better shock people than just doing nothing. And they experience history. Makes them laugh. Somebody's counting, this attention came. <laughs> so we have, let's say, 25 uh, animators, actors, who are speaking in different languages. We are able to provide programs, more or less, 10 languages, including Norwegian, Swedish. And if we are speaking in their own language with client, then they pay more attention, for sure. Because a lot of people, still don't speak English. So we are customizing as much as possible. We play with them. We play and dance. It always works. We involve them in action. So we are not just telling, you know, Estonians have such kind of tradition, they are doing uh, thin casting. A lot of people don't understand what is thin casting, you know. But then we involve them, say, uh, burn the tin and throw it in the cold water, and they can uh, foretell the future according to the shape of tin formed in the water. So it's an old German tradition. I don't know, Latvians, Lithuanians have this. I, I'm sure you have it. So, but it's interesting for people who have never seen it. It doesn't cost much, but it's experience. Thin casting. So, dance and sing together. Uh, this is famous Estonian song, standing up on their table and going crazy. So that's the only time when Estonians are going crazy. So singing like this, and after that they get silent. So we use uh, universal symbols to talk the same language when we entertain. This is a gala dinner for Oriflame. And Baltic states have excellent modern venues. Excellent. We should capitalize on this fact more. I mean, this is a concert hall in Tallinn. Now it's called Nordea. So we test their limits in the nature. We are not going to the nature just let's hike or let's talk and, you know, we show you around or... We, uh, we test their limits. We make different kind of games, competitions. And that's how they learn more about the nature. So, yep. <laughs> if, you see, if you look at this marketing mix of what we offer, then it makes sense. You do everything uh, you, you entertain the people, 
but not only entertain, you're doing histotainment and edutainment. It makes more sense. Then people remember you and say, like Baltic states. Say, forget the bad weather. Say, forget bad connections. Say, they're coming here for emotions. And that is our opportunity. We can compete with Marrakesh or Greece or Buenos Aires. I mean, we have. We don't have the climate. We have people who are crazy. The question is, are we crazy enough? That's the only question. So what clients are looking for? Usually we get requ uh, requests, offer some something new and very cheap. Yeah, OK. It's very common, yeah. And urgent, urgent. We are coming in two years, but we need proposal today. <laughs> urgent. Instead of just cooperating and uh, understanding what they're looking for, what the group is about, uh, are they looking for new experiences, local flavor, fun, entertainment, unique things? Do they want us to customize the program, or they want some kind of standardized approach? Just the sightseeing, the cheapest one, quickly, no emotions. OK, we can do it. Yeah, guide is 25 euro per hour and go. Or do they want something different? So say, remember. Our problem is that um, we can't explain them in advance. Because a lot of clients haven't been, let's say, in Estonia or in Baltic states. They don't know what to expect. They don't know what to ask. And sometimes we use too many middlemen, and middlemen are unable to sell our ideas. So there is a cap. And sometimes we call, we play telephone game. You know this children play. You call somebody, and he or she calls to somebody. And the result is totally different, what you were saying. It's very common. So, and everybody wants wow effect. That's a trendy word. Just give us wow effect. But do they really understand what, is, what means wow effect? It's higher price, for sure. Give us wow effect, very cheap price. It's impossible. Make cheap as impossible, but make wow. Sorry, no. High, wow effect means higher price, special venue. Special venues always are more expensive. If you hire a castle or uh, some kind of fans, fancy museum. Then people who are developing ideas, who are implementing, say cost more. They are not just traditional guides. And more important is cooperation and trust with sellers. We are cooperating with TMCs and travel agencies together in order to provide wow effect. It's very common that sometimes we don't know the itinerary, you know, what, what the group is doing. We are just seeing a small fraction of the program. But we need to see the whole picture in order to provide wow effect. So let's look at the business model. I mean, so far, there has been old business model for traveling. Guides, bus drivers, travel agencies. Yeah, boring. They don't add much value. They don't add emotions. So I'm declaring loudly, it's over. This time is over. Now, we, sh we, we should look new business model. We should add entertainment to traveling. And entertainment means more guides, entertainers, animators, costume designers, property managers, makeup. Even bus drivers must be entertainers. It's very common, you know, it's the first emotion. Guests are coming to the bus, and bus driver is, you know, shut the door, don't disturb. I mean, they must be welcome. 
Welcome to Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. How are you? But bus drivers are not very big entertainers. <laughs> we need to educate bus drivers. We need to educate door openers. When the group is going somewhere, door openers, or even people in reception saying something, let's say funny, for this group, it's customized. Welcome, hello. And most important is a relationship between TMC and EMC. We are EMC. We provide programs to TMCs and travel agencies. And this cooperation is very shaky. So a lot of TMCs sometimes, a lot of middlemen, and the bigger the chain is, uh, the less opportunity is to make wow effect because you're losing the value if there are too many middlemen. It's another topic. We have only 10 minutes. So I call it new business model. And uh, we should utilize it in Baltic states. We have all the opportunities. Let's look at this new business model. We have property master, many property masters in Blue Drum who are producing props. And cannons, catapults, different kind of puzzles. This is a old Chinese crossbow. And we use those props to make things more interesting. People love it. But for that, we need property masters. We have approximately two makeup artists and one costume designer who is sewing costumes. And we use those things in our programs. Different characters. We are looking for different characters nonstop. We make database about strange people in a positive way. Dwarves or giants. Uh, singers, dancers, people who can make something different. It's not easy. People are shy in Estonia. So they don't want to come. Yes, I'm a small giant. I want to <laughs> big giant. I want to do everything. No, so they're very shy. So you need to encourage them. Some different skills. We are forming database every every day just to look for people who can do something crazy. It's not Hollywood here. We don't have so many people who can do crazy. Do we have Latvians here? No Latvians? So uh, this guy on the ladder, he's from Riga, Pasmanov. So we use a lot of people from Riga. So we combine. I have seven minutes. So basically, guides are not ordinary guides anymore. Guides are stand-up comedians, they're storytellers, they're animators. They have specialized in different situations. And these are our guides. All those guides have specialized in certain languages and certain situation. Uh, it takes too much time, yeah. So, different situation. I was guide in a haunted house tour here. So, I was in a makeup three hours to have such kind of makeup. So, client is asking, give us wow effect. How can we make wow effect if I'm not three hours in makeup room, if client is not ready to pay for that? How can I make wow effect, professional level? I'm not, I'm not a student who's just making different costumes and jumping, oh, welcome to Estonia. No, it must be professional. It must be, you know, well done professional makeup. So more situations. And also, we have medieval char uh, historical characters. Peter's a great for instance, 
he's a basically animator guide who has specific part to tell about the venue. Peter's a great build. So this is a Cartier Palace. So if you look at those two pictures, find differences. Do you see, do you see difference? Simple question. So which manner is more attractive, left side or right side? OK, so this is right, this is left. This one, I'm sure. Look, there are props. We make venue more interesting. And there are a lot of manners and venues all over the Baltic, but they are empty. They really, there's nothing to do. There are no props, there are no, you cannot play around. So in order to make venue attractive, you must produce props, you must have animators who make things more interesting. And that's why we produce props in order to uh, involve people in team building. This is our Angry Bird offline. People are crazy about Angry Birds. We are shooting, or say are shooting each other with cannons. They love it. Or uh, say uh, assemble catapults or different kind of uh, cubes and puzzles. So that's what we do, basically, uh, with iPads. We have iPad adventure games, treasure hunts, and we involve people in action. We mix old and new things. And this is, let's say, typical treasure hunt with iPads. So it takes a little bit more time to explain it, but uh, Baltic states have so many venues in relatively small area around Old Town. And all those venues are different. So you can make different programs. Western countries have the same architecture or very solid. I mean, venues are pretty much the same. But in our countries, thanks to history, we have so many different venues. That helps us to make different programs. And now we add segmentation. If you make this uh, marketing mix and you customize it for segments, then you get great programs, emotions. And it's very important to understand who are the people. Are they bird watchers or stacks or hens or, or uh, burnout managers or people who are interested in history? Then in our company, we always trying to customize the program. We have special programs for Danes who are coming to Estonia. Because Thailand means Danish town. And we trying to invite them to explore Danish history. And this is Russian or Soviet films made in Tallinn. So I have two minutes, but can I just five minutes more? OK. Let me go through uh, case studies very quickly uh, in order to demonstrate uh, what we have special in Baltic states. Arabic Sheikh, I can't tell you the name, of course, for security reason or whatever. Uh, he has chosen Tallinn as a place where you make fairy tale for his two sons. So we blocked district of the old town and we made it big fairy tale venue. We had 80 actors, we had magicians, dwarves, uh, giants, uh, different kind of acrobats. So it was, let's say, crazy money. And he made event just for two hours for his son, who was five years old. 
It's possible to do it in Old Town. And we had a big parade. Uh, then we had a play, dancing, singing. And it was made, 80, 80 persons were working only for five years old boy who wanted to be excited. It's very difficult to surprise the son of Arabic Sheikh who has seen almost everything. But now you see it's possible to do it in Baltic states. It's very difficult to block the whole district somewhere in London or uh, Paris, but this is possible. It's possible to do it in Baltic states. We have no traffic jams. You can museums, local authorities are flexible, and we have venues and we have actors. He was so pleased. So pleased. And uh, of course, I cannot show you the shape because there was a top security, of course. But it's possible. We don't have terrorists. We don't have any security issues. We can handle VIPs like this. Locals didn't recognize him and nobody didn't pay attention. <laughs> Amazing. Another case, interrogation in Soviet prison. Again, this is Soviet. So we are driving around with such kind of bus. We are coming to the airport. We arrest people right away. We put handcuffs. We are going to the prison. We're doing interrogation. Uh, we're doing treasure hunt or James Bond or whatever. And they love it. They love to be entertained in Soviet bus, drinking vodka, praising Brezhnev, pushing the bus. Then we are shooting real Kalashnikovs. We are doing x-ray, fingerprints, nuclear war. So I must tell you, you don't see the faces, but they are millionaires here. They are managers of big multinational companies. And they are like new kids in the block. They love to be treated like this. I was yelling, they experienced something new, they had cast masks, nuclear attack. We had sound effects all over the venue. It was crazy. And later on, look, they enjoyed. They really enjoyed the moment. And they remember this emotion for a long time. Nobody offers it. We can do it in Baltic states. Dancing Tchaikovsky, Swan Lake. Dun, 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 dun. Top notch musicians in funny costumes. And then James Bond girls came to rescue these guys. And they escaped from prison. We were building up high roping system. And uh, they escaped. We were yelling, we were shooting, we were chasing them. And they were just laughing and took part in the game. And they, they were some, uh, they bribed some cellmates who helped them to escape. So it's a big show. And they escaped from prison with rip boat. And the program continued. Uh, we picked them up with limousines. They went to Old Town. And treasure hunt continued with segways. They met different kind of uh, animators in crazy venues in Old Town. And uh, they played different kind of games. And later they had amazing dinner where we showed up again, me and Regina. And we wrapped up the game, we gave awards, and eight hours program was over. Amazing. So I have one more minute. Case number three, amazing racing countryside. Uh, 
People are coming to railway station, they don't know anything. They meet animator who gives them task. First task, and they must come on the train. They are tri uh, driving with train to countryside, and they have to find bicycles. Um, there is an animator who is taking care of them, entertaining and just observing. And they are visiting different places, and uh, we are making horse shows. They are uh, competing in uh, longbow, uh, and they experience nature through amazing race. They are milking cows, it's a part of the game. They are smashing cars, we give them big hammers, and they love to smash a car. So, that's the result. <laughs> they are painting the house, it's a part of social responsibility, just painting old house in countryside, working free, and uh, one part of the game is to catch a fish, and they end up in a tourist farm. So it's a six hours program, in the type of amazing race. So they are so excited about the amazing race, and they admire the nature. Of course, uh, we wrap up the game and entertain them. Sometimes they have helmets and camera is on the helmet, so they are shooting everything, what's happening. And uh, later on, they can have a dinner and laugh what happened on the track. So I wrap up things. Problems. Oh, everything is nice and fancy, but there are a lot of problems. Of course, price. People are coming to Baltic States and they expect that our programs are cheap and, uh, and they are pretty much conservatives. Clients are conservatives because they don't know what to expect. Two minutes. Trust, attitude, image, quality, full service. Full service is a problem. Everybody providing full service. Everybody is doing everything, but we see that people and agencies must specialize. So let me give the solutions. Price. We could offer more value for the same price in Baltic states. We can. We can do it. Conservatives. Invite clients to fam trips, meet the clients. Attitude. There must be mutual respect. Westerners are coming pretty much to Baltic states and they start teaching us. Hello, we are grown ups already. Stop teaching, let's make business. Image, country image. So we should cooperate more with public sector and states and convention pros just to increase image and quality. Nothing else and educate and make product development. And full service, stop thinking that you can do everything and everybody, no, specialize and let's cooperate. TMC is doing TMC, EMC is doing EMC work and so on. We are promoting cooperation, but it's very difficult. A lot of agencies in, in the country are competitors instead of cooperating. So, very quickly, how many times you have seen me? Magic candies are waiting? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> okay, we don't have time. So, 13. 13 was the right answer.
is a part of entertainment. Estonian and Gandhi, somebody, raise a hand. Woo! Just take. You too. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alvi. Thank you. My pleasure.